Hey guys, it's Gina. I'm showered, got the crud off the day, but we had momentum going. We went crazy on day 24. So Honey decided, you know what? I'm gonna go through my closet. That made me go through my closet. What'd you say? And then the coat closet. And we had the rest of the dog things. I'm just gonna turn it around and we're gonna count out and see what we get. I think we're gonna hit day 25 and maybe some into day 26. Let's go. Here is a couple more piles to add to the Goodwill mix. When he was cleaning out the coffee pot, he found these two things. And so we're gonna say two. Here's the rest of the little doggy things. Three, four, isn't that cute? Five, six, stay wild, seven. Feel like I might have thought this was a different jacket, so we're gonna wait and see if we have enough. This vest, I don't, I never wear it. And when I do, I'm never comfortable. Eight, I might regret that. This jean jacket doesn't even fit. I'm tired of acting like I'm going to fit in it because I just probably won't. Nine, I have never liked this sweater. You know, I keep things because they're gifts from people and I feel bad getting rid of it because I didn't buy it. That's not a good enough reason to clutter up your house. What number am I on? 10. 10? That's 10. Okay, I'm gonna let dad make sure we're counting right because <laughs> I don't do well with that. I found another napkin and a flat sheet of a set of sheets that apparently we don't have the fitted sheet too. 11, 12. I literally took this blanket off my bed because I hate it. It's cut crooked. It's crooked. No matter how many times you fold it, it is crooked. 13. 13. I have bag after bag after bag. I don't need that one. 14. Tank top I'm not thrilled with. 15. Pajama top. Bottoms. Bottoms, whatever. The top somewhere. Here's the top. Oh! I'm not the only one that forgets. You should have seen his face. I hate those shoes. Remember, I just had to keep the shirt. Honey decluttered it, and I was like, oh, I'm going to cut the sleeves out of that shirt. I'm going to keep that shirt. Yeah, I didn't keep that shirt. What number are we on? 20. 20. I don't think there's one thing wrong with those shoes. Tom does not have a problem with the shoes. He has a problem with the brand. And if I'm being honest, he really has a problem with Kaepernick. And the brand because they endorse Kaepernick. I'm just keeping it real. I don't think there's one. Is there anything wrong with the shoes? No. Just don't like them. Yeah. What number? 21. 21. Nasty old jacket. Work jacket. Work jacket. Totally destroyed. Not even the right color anymore. Work jacket. Gone. 22. 23. Early shirt. What was the reason? I just didn't care for it. You just didn't care for it. 24. 24. We are going to have extra. 25. 25. There's another. I think this is Hurley also, isn't it? Oh, Vans. Oh, Vans. 25. Off the wall. I think I dried it and it was too short. Okay, there's day 25 and I still have some. We're going to start day 26. So this is what I have to start with for day 26, a Vans shirt that he just got. But again, I dried it. If you dry a shirt and he's tall and it's not the right length, he doesn't like it no more. So one, my shirt, two, uh, thermal, I know you can't really see it. Three, work shirt, four, another Hurley shirt that is nasty and definitely well-worn. Five, and another... Work jacket. work jacket six man I'm happy okay six for day 26 let's see what else we can find today oh baby it's leaving no technically I'm glad it's going where it's going because this was Casey's grandmother's furniture and now it's going back to Casey. I need mean more of her grandparents crap. I bought her grandparents house. You did. You did buy her ha their house. Not the same grandparents. Their kids, huh? Their parents, I should say. Uh, Was it their, those? Side of the 
Oh, really? Dad, you didn't bring your mama no milk? What? You're out on delivery. You didn't bring your mama no milk. Not even right, dude. Not even right. What'd you say? No special treatment. Hey, well, I know that. I have absolutely no doubt about that. I'm your mama, and don't you forget it. Keep it. I kept four things. That was one. Little hub of a hair. Neither one of us even know what it is. All this stuff in here's trash. They're gone. <laughs> it's getting less and less and less in here. And I'm so excited about it. We have so far to go, but we have come so far. Now I would just want to say here a little something since it's quiet. I know y'all have just had to endure quite a bit of sound because of his truck. But he's a milkman, they own a milk company, and there was milk in that truck. The moment I realized that the Goodwill was actually happening, my entire demeanor changed. Honey actually told me last night as we was going to bed, you really need to discuss a situation that I noticed yesterday. And I'm like, what? He said, the minute we started loading the truck, you went crazy. You just started piling crap, and it was like, Okay, it wasn't just going to end up out here in the garage for a future problem. It was actually leaving the premises. And it did. It motivated me. It, it set me on a different level. So if I can say anything, take every other day that you're decluttering or even every day. Make a spot in your trunk. Just throw it in the trunk. And as you drive by a some type of place that you donate to, drop it. Yeah, it was so motivating just to actually put the items in the truck knowing they're leaving never to come back. And so last night, yesterday and last night, I think we got three days done, May, maybe more, I think three. Three days done yesterday. And here's one, two, three, four more items to add to it. Now you're wondering, what in the world are all these rugs doing out here? <laughs> because they've all just been washed and they're drying. While we're coming to an end here, I mean, we still have nearly 60 things, maybe 70 things to declutter. Um, I'm motivated to streamline even more. But I'll be honest, this was difficult. I mean, difficult. Until yesterday. Just, just a whole new motivation started yesterday. And so I have to go back to work. I was just out here because Drew was coming to get the dressers. Okay, everybody, this is just a quick moment to close up day 25 and realize I didn't close up this video. I want to thank you all for coming and watching and being with my little boy, my little my little 34 year old boy. Saw a little bit of my motivation coming through. I hope that was prevalent. You'll see quite a bit more of that in the next video um, where I'm really going over my thought process and how I feel during all this time. But again, I thank you all for watching. Make sure that you're taking the time to check all the other girls out. They are just as inspiring. And I hope I am inspiring. I hope I'm getting you up and out the door doing things to the trash, to the declutter area, to the donation area. I hope all those things are happening for you and you're feeling better about your day. Now, in saying that, I have had several people share with me uh, that they're doing it, that because of me they got up and um, did this or that, or the other one girl did her kitchen, one girl uh, did her craft room, and um, last week I shared uh, some pictures of Dawn's uh, progress, and then I, I have a gal I'm expecting some photos coming from that I can add to Sunday's video, I'm hoping if I get them. But, you know, I know you're playing. I don't know that all of you are playing, but I know you're watching. I'm hoping you are getting something out of it and that you'll share with me, at least in the comments below. Yes, I, I'm getting up to do this. 
I'm doing this, that, or the other. Look for Sunday's video. It is the culmination of the fourth week, and we're finished for February. Is the Gina finished? No, she's not finished. I have a ton to do, and we're motivated. Hopefully, we'll get some footage of that also. And my dog is doing his thing. So I'm going to go here. I love you all. Jesus loves you more. I hope you all know that. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. God bless.